I am annoyed when people say girls can't do something. We chose policy debate for a reason. It just is the single most intellectually demanding form of public speaking uh, that high school forensics offers. Some people are comfortable speaking, some people are very comfortable researching. In policy debate, you actually have to do it all. The research skills they learn can't be beat, and when they go off to university, they're going to really be in a strong position to excel in that kind of intellectual environment. I have 10th grade students who read postgraduate articles on philosophy. So how could a student who spends their free time participating in a competitive activity that rewards understanding that material not be better prepared for college? Carrollton prepares women to be very effective in um, the future arena of business and politics and community service. So I think that's for the good. She looks mature, uh, petite, she looks sweet, and she is petite and sweet, but she's a lot more going up there than uh, the guys give her credit for. You know, for girls who looked as, as sweet and innocent as we did and were, uh, you know, we weren't afraid uh, to, you know, tackle a, uh, an argument. What you discover in debaters is this incredible group of kids who are totally committed and passionate about world issues. We marry a spiritual and moral process to academic debate. I say to the girls that if we could only see ourselves as God does, that God sees us as wonderful, full of possibility. Most of us, we don't listen to the other person. We hear words coming at us and we line up our argument for the attack but we don't actually respond to the argument because we've missed some of the very points they were trying to make because we dismissed them. But if you really believe the other person is the image of God, you'd never dismiss the person. So actually, I think it would make you a better debater.